The purpose of this module is to show how to configure a SQL Server ODBC connection object to accommodate reserved words. This module will show the settings required for an ODBC connection to do data preview and execute a profile against a SQL Server table whose name is a reserved word. For purposes of demonstration, a SQL Server table called group with two columns and a single row of data will be used. The word group is a reserved word within SQL Server. The demo will include a data preview and profile execution with and without the correct ODBC settings. Now on to the demo. On the screen, we see the connections tab of the admin console and we have highlighted a SQL Server ODBC connection. So over here we can see in the advanced properties the values are set to the default values. Now let us switch to the Informatica Analyst tool. Over here we can see that we have a table called group which is imported. When I right click on this, this, is, this shows that this has been imported from the SQL Server connection object. And if I were to try to open it, which will actually execute a data preview, the data preview fails with this error. It will say incorrect syntax near the keyword group. And let us click OK over here. And also just to confirm the profile execution, let us also create a new profile. So we select new, select profile. We select column profiling, click next. And we can see the table group and its structure. There are two columns. And since this is a simple profile, let us just do a save and run. So the profile execution also fails. And when we click on show details, it says that it is because of an internal error. So let us click OK over here and go and modify the connection object. So we go back to the administrator, the admin console, and we are back at the connection object. And here, let us edit the properties. Let us set the SQL identifier character to brackets and enable support mixed case identifiers. The reason we choose brackets is because typically this is one of the ways by which you would be able to create a table within SQL Server where the name of the table is a reserved word. If it were some other uh, character that were used like uh, double quotes or single quotes or back quotes, then that is what you would need to specify over here. In this case, we have used brackets and so we need to set the identifier to brackets. And let us click OK. So the properties of the connection object are changed and the change is, uh, is saved. And we go back to the analyst tool and let us try to do the data preview again. So I click on the table to open it. So the data preview is successful. We can see there are two columns with one row of data. And we go back to the profile and execute the profile. And we can see that the profile execution is also successful. The key over here was really the two attributes of the connection object, the SQL identifier character to use and support mixed case identifiers. These had to be set appropriately for the data preview and the profile execution to happen when the name of the table is a reserved word. And that concludes this demo. We would love to hear from you. You can always send your feedback via email to supportvideos at informatica.com or through Twitter to https twitter.com slash infasupport.